You want to learn how to create a screen flow in Salesforce. You're in the right place. Welcome to Salesforce Help Club. I'm Isaac, and this is a two minute tutorial. Screen flows can be used to accomplish so many different types of things in Salesforce. Generally speaking, you should use a screen flow when you want a user to start the process or you want a user to be able to interact with the process. I'm going to quickly walk you through creating a real screen flow in order to teach some basic concepts. We will be jumping straight into Flow Builder, so if you do not know how to get to Flow Builder or you need an overview of flows first, check out my Intro to Flows video. All right, let's take a look. For this flow, I want to search a few different fields on lead to find spam leads and then be able to delete those spam leads in bulk. All right, we have Flow Builder open and we are creating a screen flow. First, we are gonna wanna add a screen. We'll click on the little circle here, click on screen as an element to add. With every single element and every component within an element, you'll have to give a unique API name and sometimes you will also have to provide a label. So let's go ahead and add that. Right now I'm just gonna use something generic, but in your flow, you will want to use something descriptive so that you know what it is doing. And when you come back six months from now, you still have an idea of what's happening within the flow. Now, once I've created a screen, I can add elements to that screen. I'm going to add several text components here. One for name, one for email. I'll click done and move on to the next element. Now we wanna take that input and search for any leads that match that input. So we'll click on this next circle here to add an element and we will choose get records. We will name this element, choose which object, which is leads. We wanna search last name, email, select all records. For last name, we want it to equal or rather contain the value that we put in screen one. So we're gonna find that component element under screen components and then last name. And then same thing with email here, find that screen component. And instead of needing both of these to match, I'm just gonna choose or instead of and. And then we want the next screen to show all of the results. We're gonna grab data table, use the leads as the source collection, and then configure the columns. We will use first name, last name, email, and description. For the rows, we do want to leave it as multiple. Then we have to give our data table a name and click done. Finally, we want to delete all of the rows that the user selects. So we will add another element, choose delete records, give that a name, and then choose the lead table screen component and selected rows and click done. Now let's go ahead and save the flow and give it a name. And now to test out this flow, we can click on debug and see this flow in action. So I will run the flow, type in at abc.com as an email because I know that is one of the email address domains where I am getting a lot of spam email from. Click next. Now I will see the results in the data table. I can select which spam leads I'd like to delete in mass, click next and now those leads get deleted. This was a quick example of a screen flow to help you out as you get started on your screen flows. I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for spending some time with me. See you again next time.